The number of people injured or killed in large truck crashes is on the rise across the country. And now more than 2,000 trucking companies in Illinois are on a federal watch list because of their record of safety violations. Two investigator Pam Zekman is here with this story. Pam. Rob and Kate, one of the safety issues on that watch list is fatigue driving. Truckers who violate federal regulations that limit the hours they can stay on the road without a break. An apparently fatigued driver with DND International is charged with causing a crash that killed tollway worker Vincent Petrella and injured state trooper Douglas Balder. Same cause for this United Van Lines crash, which killed state trooper James Sauter and a crash that crushed this car between two trucks, killing Mary Maher. This is a systemic problem in the trucking industry that is wreaking havoc on roads across America every single day. This lawsuit charges that the truck driver in the Maher case failed to reduce his speed or have adequate brakes and falsified driving records to conceal he was possibly impaired by fatigue. How dare you? Like. How dare you kill my mom and take her from me? Studies show that about 55% of truck drivers are paid by the miles they drive, creating incentives for them to stay on the road for longer periods of time than regulations allow. When we pay them by the mile as opposed to by the hour, we give them every reason in the world to try to cover more ground. The Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration tracks the safety records of more than half a million interstate trucking companies, but lacks the resources to keep tabs on them all. So it uses a computer management system to alert inspectors about companies with excessive violations in one of five critical categories, including unsafe driving, hours of service, driver fitness, and vehicle maintenance. Those alerts would come up and then we would pull them back for a roadside inspection. Uh, that's what mainly we do. The Federal Safety Administration watch list includes 184 Illinois trucking companies that perform poorly in three of the five critical categories and 23 in four of the five. The companies on that list with the largest fleets are Four Transportation in Harvey, CDN Logistics in North Lake, U.S. Freightways Logistics in Elk Grove Village, Triple D Express in Elgin, and JF Freight Company in Palatine. 2,500 Illinois trucking companies on that watch list. Impossible to keep up with all of them? It's very tough, yes. Obviously, we're way understaffed. Any tool we put in our toolbox is going to help us find unsafe commercial vehicles. Ford Transportation says it's not unsafe. A spokesman said it has successfully challenged many state violations and has passed the last federal truck inspections it's had over the last four years. Triple D Express says it watches its drivers very closely and has been trying to correct the problems. The manager says she thinks they are doing a pretty good job. Rob and Kate, the other three companies that we highlighted in this report did not respond to our calls. So it's not just speed, it's fatigue that's a problem. What's being done to help better monitor the fatigue issue? It's a huge problem, and what they are trying to do is pass a new rule that would require all trucking companies and their drivers to have electronic log books instead of the paper books that they now use that are easy to falsify. Mm, okay, thank nice. you, Pam.